Hi everyone, I'm so happy to release this first part of my two-part um, EP which will turn into an album eventually called Nightingale Valley and it's this amazing project um, based on women's stories, women who live in St Anne's and the Nightingale Valley in Bristol and this first part are my personal three stories. Um, one of the songs, the first one, um, which is on the album called Stream of Graves, is about looking at the um, traditional Pilgrim's Way that was to St Anne's Well, but then kind of reflecting on how now just everyday people walk on the same path. Um, I took my pain to a stream of graves where the flowers bloom wide and plain marked her footprints that misbehave drown by the earth and drunk The second one is called Avona, um, but it's actually a song about Avona and a man called Morrisby. And this is based on the fantastic legend of Avona, who allegedly drew the two giants to carve out the Avon Gorge. And I, ha I had a little fun play of creating a character who's a bit of a little sexy minx. And um, so this is a, a sexy little dirty love story. Um, Morrisby is actually, uh, of course, a little bit based on Chris and one of his secret pseudonyms. And all I'll say is, um, have a listen to the track and listen to the lyrics and uh, it'll give you a lot of fun. But, you know, part of a woman's story is, of course, sex and having fun and enjoying the, our sexuality and the sexual part of our lives that often, again, you know, we don't see that portrayed in a positive light. So this is my fun representation of that in a song called Avona. His clothes were dissolved, his cup free, just his naked flesh. For the queen made it tease, his life body was seized. The sprites were magic, they the man they did please It's been really nice to play and give you a little taster of them acoustically, just me and my beautiful um, synth. Um, live it will be with two other female singers to do the harmonies. As you know, I love doing writing thing pieces with harmony, um, especially female voice for this. I think it's very important. Um, and I've really enjoyed composing the electronics and keeping them for this EP quite simple. But I like I say, I think for the next one, I'm going to go out and about um, in St Anne's Wood and Nightingale Valley and I'm actually going to record all the sounds off um, there's amazing pieces of metal, there's amazing junk, there's pe trees which kind of lend themselves to sounds and just basically find the sounds and maybe through water. So the next part will completely be generated within the valley itself. So that's quite exciting as well. Part two will be happening in May time next year where I'm going to work with about nine w local women in particular. I'm going to gather stories from many, many women locally. But in particular, I'm going to then choose nine and I'm going to work with those women and take them through the Nightingale Valley and I'm going to record our conversations and see if they're interested in voc uh, participating vocally as well and having some of their spoken word and bringing that into the music. Um, and I think it's going to go into a whole different level the next, the next stage. But it's just been a joy to actually finally finish this one. Uh, so the final track is called A Woman's Choice the whole um, issue of women's choice, you know, with what happened last year in America, which was horrific, and uh, even our government moots things happening like that. And basically, it's our bodies, our rights, 
nobody else's and we make decisions what to do with our bodies and I think most women feel very very strongly about that so um, it touches on that a little bit as well and it's called uh, a woman's choice <laughs> So those were three things that I felt very strongly about, um, things that attached to me. So uh, politics and the rights of women, um, sex, obviously, um, and I love mystical ancient things and spiritual things and how they relate to uh, modern day as well. Um, anyway, big love to you all and uh, thanks for having a little listen and I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Take care, bye.